Hello everybody, how are you doing today? This is the Exotic Bourbon Hunter coming to you with another exciting bourbon hunting video. But before we get started, I want to thank a subscriber by the name of Kyle. Uh, he mailed me a sample of a High West Midwinter Night Dram at 2 Scene 5. Comes in at 96 point, or excuse me, 98.6 proof. Just like our human body temperature, 98.6. Um, I want to thank you very much. So I'm going to start off the video with a nice, beautiful pour of this bourbon. And as that sits for a moment, we're going to be doing a, a video today over at Levy's Liquors over in St. Cloud. Mark West is the owner, but not only is he the owner... Him and his wife are heavily involved with the community in St. Cloud, but he runs and operates the St. Cloud Bourbon and Whiskey Festival every year, where they have phenomenal pours, cigars, amazing food, and also they have phenomenal music. So when the time comes round for the St. Cloud Bourbon and Whiskey Festival, don't hesitate to go grab a pass because they sell out super duper fast. But before we get into that, I just want to thank Kyle once again. You know who you are. You know, I like these glasses, but they're a little dangerous. You know, they roll around and they can even roll off the table, which has happened more than once. But let's give this Midwinter Night's Dram a try. Is this what they all talk about? Is is the hype? The hype? Ooh, that's phenomenal on the nose. Ooh, almost getting... Oh, wow. Almost like a cherry apple. Caramel. Delicious. Oh. Wow. That's... Phenomenal! If I ever find this High West Midwinter Nights nice Tram at a reasonable price, I will buy this in a heartbeat. A heartbeat! This is a treat. I can't thank you enough, Kyle, for this. I greatly appreciate it. So, without any further ado, let the show begin. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey yo! Liquors, they have some amazing store picks, and one of these store picks is actually their old soul store pick. It comes in at 95.5% ABV, and I'm gonna tell you this: this store pick does not drink its proof point at all. It is delicious to the T. Now, they also have an amazing tequila store pick here, and also a Doc Swinson store pick. But without any further ado, here's one of the employees over here who's actually going to go over their store picks with you. Hi right, guys, my name's Angelo and I'll be going over our store picks today. So we'll start out with our Herradura Double Barrel Reposado Tequila. This is a single barrel private barrel straight from Mexico. Owners went down there and handpicked it themselves. Signature thing about this is the double barrel. It is finished in oak whiskey barrels. So if you like whiskey and tequila, this gives you the best of both worlds. Second pick is going to be our Old Soul Straight Bourbon. Now this is a high rye grain mix, 119 proof, hot out of the bottle. We do recommend you let it breathe before you give it a try. Really good stuff if you like a nice high rye. And our last pick is going to be our Doc Swinton Straight Rye Whiskey. If you're a rye lover, this is going to be one of your tops. This is also a single barrel as well, and that's 115 proof. Now. I always tell you guys, if you have the opportunity to try something before you buy it, that is the best thing to do. Make sure you actually like it, especially if you're going to be spending $100 plus on a bottle. And if you don't know if you like that, then you probably shouldn't be buying that. Now, they do have a wide variety of things for you to, to try here. And I'll tell you this, this is one of the more impressive sampling stations that I've seen at a liquor store. So over here at Levy Liquors, 
Uh, I do highly recommend you stop by here, especially if you're driving by to go to the Space Coast to watch a rocket launch, or you're going out to Melbourne to see the grandparents or your parents. Uh, you know, stop by here, pick up a bottle. I, I guarantee you this, the prices are better than they are in Melbourne. Now over here at Levy Liquors, they do have a beautiful selection of bourbons. And I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do things a little faster instead of going over the price of each and every bottle. I want to know your feedback in the comments. Let me know if this is something you want me to continue to do or if this is something you don't want me to continue to do. And also, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, remember, it's free to subscribe, unlike a lot of other things in life. If it's free, give it a try. Hey! But here we go without any further ado. All right. We got the Wise Man. We have the Willet Green Top over here. Wild Tucky Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. This rare breed barrel proof is delicious. Absolutely delicious. And Wilderness Trail is also delicious. Now I do have a Widow Jane over here in my collection and that's also one that is extremely delicious. We go into the Whistle Pig. We got the 10 year, 6 year, and then we have the Piggyback Rye. And then we go into Uncle Nearest. Uncle Nearest is another one that is delicious. Uh, I highly recommend you guys get one of these bottles if you have not had one before. Uh, but like I said, try it before you buy it. We also go into Town Branch and then we have our Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered into the Stranahan's. Then we have the Short Barrel into the Sagamore Spirits. We have the Rye, we have the Straight Rye and then we have the Manhattan Finished. I've actually been looking for this Manhattan Finished. I've tried some and this is delicious. Holy moly. Uh, if you have the opportunity to get one of these Manhattan Finished Ryes from Sagamore Spirits, I highly recommend you give it a try. We also go into our George Remus, and then we have our RD1. This is some of the bigger selection of RD1 that I've seen. And uh, the only thing they're missing here is the rye. That's the one I'm, I'm currently looking for. We're gonna go over here. We have our pin hook into the Pikesville. And then we have the Old Soul. This is the Old Soul, which is their store pick right here which I highly recommend you uh, give a try. You will not be disappointed. We also have our Old Forester 1920 Prohibition. This is another one I highly recommend. Delicious, absolutely delicious. And then we go into our Old Forester Statesman. Noble Oak is another phenomenal product, especially for the price you're gonna pay. That only comes in at 47, uh, 47 beans. Then we have our uh, Nassif. Have you guys ever heard of this? This is the first time I'm seeing this one. Uh, let me know in the comments if this is one you've had before. Uh, let me know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Nassif, Family Reserve, American Whiskey, coming in at 107 proof. Then we go into our Midwest Spirits, into our Michter's products here. And then we have our Jefferson's Reserve, Jefferson's Ocean, and the Reserve. And I want to personally thank Kevin. He left me some Jefferson's Ocean, and it's phenomenal, a delicious, very oaky taste. Uh, nice oak tannins with that. Then we go into our Jack Daniels Single Barrel. This is coming in actually at 130.1 proof. For those of you who are looking for one of the ones that are in the 30s, I haven't seen one in the 40s. But uh, I'll tell you, I do have one uh, single barrel rye, which comes in 133, which is nice and hot. Uh, we have our Heaven Hill, which is another delicious bourbon. Uh, don't be ashamed to sip this neat, put it in an old fashioned or, uh, you know, make a Manhattan out of it. Just put it on the rocks if you like. And then we go into our Heaven's Door, our Horse Soldier, and then our single barrel Four Roses. Uh, we're gonna again continue and we go into our filibuster. This is another one I haven't seen very often. Let me know what you think about this filibuster. Is this one I'm, I should be picking up? Is this something that I need to have in my bar? Uh, we go and continue into the Doc Swinson. The straight rye here is the one that is actually the one that uh, they have, which is their store pick. And uh, once again, I highly recommend you, you get a little sample of that and pick up a bottle. We go into our chicken cock, 
into the basil hayden and then we continue into the burrell seagrass and the angels and the finished rye and the angels and the bourbon straight whiskey so over here at levy liquors they do have some good stuff behind the counter uh, some of these are considered some unicorns so let's go take a look at what they have behind the counter so to start over here we have some middle west spirits uh, we have their sherry cast or lorzo and ported pumpernickel whiskeys and bourbons uh, this is another one i have not had yet if you have had this give me some feedback in the comments let me know what you think then we go into our old forester 10 year 100 proof this is one that everyone is looking for we have our crown royal 18 and then we go into some others here that i have not had before this is more of a, a scotch over here uh, from there we go into some more uh, scotches You know, this red breast is one I'm looking to add to my bar. I do enjoy scotches, that beautiful peaty taste. We have some tequila over here. The tequila is up and coming in the uh, community. Not only do you bourbon drinkers like the tequila, but uh, I hope most of you don't wind up on the floor. One tequila, two tequila floor. We got some Patron products over here into our Don Julio and now we get into our Woodford Reserve for the Masters Collection uh, we got some Jack Carr we go into our Whistling Pig Estate Oak Rye this is a good one right here this Whistling Pig 15 year delicious we also have our McKenna Tenure coming in at 80 beans. We have our chicken cock, and that's going to be their cotton club ride. And we got our Jack Daniel Sinatra into our Heaven's Door. We have the Homesick Blues Edition Cash Strength over here. And then this bootleg series. This is great. You know, you, you buy this. And you can put it in with your encyclopedias. You could hide it from the wife. Uh, this is definitely one you should think about. And then we also have our Joseph Magnus. Triple cast finished. And then these old souls. These old souls I've heard a lot of hype about. And these old souls, this is the first time I'm seeing it here at one of the stores. All right, everybody. I want to thank you for turning, tuning in to the Exotic Bourbon Hunter. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and from this time till next time to maybe tomorrow I'll see you on the next liquor hunt. Forget about it. Bada bing bada boom. Hey yo!